All right, here with one of my favorite people in the tower world, MTSU head football coach, Rick Stockstill. I got it correct that time, coach. All right, 16th season coming up. The obligatory, why do you like this team this year is? I love the leadership of this team. I like the sense of urgency that we have right now. There's a great chip on our shoulder that yeah. we got something to prove as a player, as a as a team, as a coaching staff, and um, I just like where we're at right now. Not having as good a year last year as you had hoped to have, and everything that we went through, those players went through, that I'm hungry, they're hungry to, to get out there and get that taste out of our mouth. Not having as good a year last year as you had hoped to have, and everything that we went through, those players went through, that I'm hungry, they're hungry to, to get out there and get that taste out of our mouth. A lot has gone on in 15 seasons. Do you remember the first time you walked on that practice field for your first camp, 2006? I do. And, uh, you know, it's, to me it seems almost like, almost like yesterday. It doesn't seem that long. I still talk to those guys, that right. first team. I, talk, I talked to some of them the other day. And, uh, you know, just how far we've come since then, and uh, but there's a lot more out there for us to get. Your grandfather, yeah, you see the world differently now. A little bit, but not drastically, just because when you hold her, you know, sky, she's so small, like a football. Yeah, the, <laughs> I think once you know she can start walking and yeah. you do more with her, then but you know. I just appreciate life so much and to be able to to be around her now yeah. that Brent's back and, and his wife Jessica just uh, it's going to be a cool experience I heard you talking about Bobby Bowden I know he yeah. means the world to you uh, he's 91 not in great shape not in great health and all that your thoughts about Bowden what he means to you yeah and Joe I'll try to do this without crying but I won't be able to but I knew about it about a month ago I talked to him and you know, talked to Tommy Bowden, his son, and just you know, knew some had some health issues that he wasn't going to be able able to overcome. And uh, you know, so he's had a wonderful life, and you know, eventually it's going to come. But still, it doesn't change the way you you know how you handle it. Yeah. And you know, I've always said that he and my dad are the two biggest male influences that I've had in my life. And I owe Coach Bowden so much and uh, the respect that I have for him, what he's done for me, how he's impacted me, uh, influenced me. I coach for Steve Spurrier, I coach for Lou Holtz, right. Larry Little, I've coached for all these guys, but I try to coach like Coach Bowden more than anybody. And uh, you know, I know the, the end is near, right. uh, but I love him. I'm so thankful for him, and I'm honored to say I got to play for the greatest coach in college football. Yeah. Coach, 16 seasons. Thank you for all you do. No, I appreciate you. I appreciate you. you. All right, head football coach Rick Stockstill, MTSU.